Greetings everyone, this is P and I am finally back. Remember that video I made 9 months ago where I told you guys I'll be away from some sort of work for 9 months? Well, we're finally here, as that period is now over. To be completely honest with you, it wasn't really work, but it felt like one. Most of you already know that I'm from Greece. Here, every male above 18 has to go through mandatory army service for around 9 months. Well, my service period is over and I'm officially back. I know you have a lot of questions like, why haven't you told us or what did you do over there? But they're not as interesting as the stuff I'm preparing for you guys. What follows is a list of my current ongoing projects that I plan to release during this year. First and foremost, my greatest Call of Duty 4 project is the upcoming Rooftops 2 campaign. For those basement gang members who might not know what that is, it is a brand new fan-made Call of Duty 4 single-player multi-level campaign that I myself create on Call of Duty 4. It's the direct sequel of the original first Rooftops campaign where I devoted a lot of passion and hard work on. Rooftops 2 did get some very interesting progress during my breaks from the army. A player progression system has been implemented where players' story progress will be saved which also allowed the creation of an in-game achievement and collectible system. This makes the overall experience so much fun and adds to the replayability factor. Overall, Rooftops 2 is a product of hard work through a long span of time where I've been through many ups and downs regarding my PC's health and my personal obligations which all delayed the progress. So providing stable and solid experience when it's finally released is extremely important to me and it's a huge project with tons of little details to fix and balance. That's why sometimes stuff get delayed especially big projects like this. I know everyone's been asking about the release date, so I will give you my rough estimation that it will come within 2021, hopefully around September. Let's all pray for that. Up next, we have some Call of Duty World at War co-op experiments that me and my friends did some weeks ago. Unfortunately, the World at War co-op system seemed to be quite complex to handle, so if I really do something on this, it will take a lot of hard work figuring out how to properly script it. Later, I try to import most of Call of Duty 4 texture and model assets in World at War, but there's not much progress or success in that yet. The goal was to import my Call of Duty 4 Spec Ops mode or even the survival mode and make a 4 player mission possible. But I'm afraid it won't be as easy as you may think. There are a ton of things to import and rebalance, not to mention the complexity of the co-op code that is required to work on. So don't get too excited about it, it may never actually happen. However, the simple map sabotage from the Spec Ops mode did get some good progress and the co-op scripts worked fine. But everything is just a concrete surface as no Call of Duty 4 assets are imported yet. Well, it was a good research but I'd rather focus on Rooftops 2, or even the next project I'll mention. Based on my survival mode that is a recreation of Modern Warfare 3 survival in Call of Duty 4 single player, Conquest mode will be a recreation of the classic Battlefield Conquest mode. Not the modern multiplayer Battlefield, but the good old Battlefield 1942 where we could play offline matches with bots. Which is where I got inspiration from. Conquest had some very basic functions that took around a week of daily work to implement. Did I mention it will be open source? Just like my survival mode, other Call of Duty 4 map makers will be able to use the script logic of the mode make their own maps in it, or even change the mold entirely and evolve it or improve it further from what I've provided. Pretty exciting stuff. Finally, I want to mention that I've revisited Call of Duty 2 mod 2 after I saw that Call of Duty 2 Frontline mod. It got me inspired to try and help on the project, but I'm not sure if that's ever gonna happen. Anyway, I know this all sounds too ambitious and hopeful, but one thing we're allowed to do without consequences is dreaming and hoping. The main goal is to finish Rooftops 2 as it's the most important and the greatest project of them all. I'm really excited about everything and I'm sure you guys are too. Hoping for some fun times ahead. Hope you all be well and have a great day.